Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tower of God episode number 7. In the previous episode we got to see a little bit of Anak's backstory and uh, the reason behind her hatred of the princesses of Jahads and uh, human beings in general like uh, uh, like <coughs> her mother was like what do you call it betrayed and uh, killed so it's like it's obvious that she would not trust anyone and she is still a kid like uh, she's still uh, she's not her like she's not much old so, so that also kind of like reflects on well, what do you call it like if you see uh, something that makes a big impact in a childhood that kind of persists and you kind of like uh, are unable to forget that and that also kind of like adds into this revenge and hatred thing and uh, that's the thing that happened and uh, like yeah what else can i say like you have to let go if you wish to be free from hatred and revenge and that's not easy to do okay so without further ado let's get started with uh, episode number seven of tower of god and okay i'll be giving the timer and the subtitles here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, I'll be starting the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, the opening. Hmm. A lot of characters like uh, for example uh, Yuri uh, we got barely got to see her like uh, after, like in all of these episodes it's like uh, almost it's like the seventh episode and we only got to see her getting some time uh, uh, screen time uh, in the first episode after that like also Black March like um, <laughs> like I know that this uh, webtoon is quite big um, that's why like uh, and the anime is like, like I, I think like barely scratched the surface of the webtoon so that probably gets like more screen time later on okay Jihad the king of oh okay so he was the first one woman granted a special boon by Jihad Oh. Yeah, we got that previously. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. So, she was adopted or what? I don't know. Like, how can her mother become like Oh, jump out of the case on their own. So, like, was she killed because of that? Like, uh, no, I don't know. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I get like that's the reason. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so like because of the rules, she was killed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, that was some <laughs> What? <laughs> Both of them self-destructed. Well, they were like one of the strongest uh, people and both of them oh god oh my god Okay. Man's hand. Like who ran away with her? Like Okay, damn, like, um, like, so, so they didn't know that she was married or something? Chicken pie? What? <laughs> She loves the chicken pies. Okay, like uh, training montage. Damn, she needs a more pinpointed source of power okay let's see how they have progressed damn like he popped three of them Okay, that's the reason why three popped. She's like with one hand, like, <laughs> like firing a gun. It's as easy. I owed him a favor after yesterday. Wait. Uh, um, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> She's drunk. <laughs> Damn, they been drool and everything. <laughs> Oh god.
Damn, this guy is like, something's wrong with him. Like, jealousy or something? Hmm, I don't think he's okay. <laughs> Oh god, he is like he, he's like wearing a mask and everything. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, their emotions. <laughs> well, oh, my God, two more. Well, <laughs> okay, let's go find some friends. Mm. Damn, fractured. <laughs> she has a horn. <laughs> well, I wish wish came true. But you have to become friends. You have to become friends. So it's to bring our friends, yes. Yeah, friends share things. Every day, that's a good deal. <laughs> Damn, he came prepared. Oh my god, like this, these two. <laughs> okay. Chicken pie. <laughs> Damn. Well, they got their friends, two friends. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> oh no wait a second like Anna wasn't there to me she did not like sign the thing oh my god Well, it, it end, ended up working.
It's eating apples. She's like swiping food? Oh no, she, uh, she's uh, paying for them. Okay, I was wrong about that. Yuri, she's talking about Yuri, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's the main mystery here. We're seeking at the top worth more than him. Okay. Well, this guy is fussing too much. I think Laurie is, uh, is sleeping. Like, instead of obsessing in these things, like in these matters, like thinking about these stuff, you should probably practice more to like pass the test. Oh my god, who the hell is that? Jesus. Okay, so like... Okay, I, I can kind of get what... And here we go, like, taking advantage of people's weakness, the so-called bad guys. Oh lord. Joint positions test. <laughs> well, <laughs> tag, okay. He's fast. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, let's see the team. I didn't see your where was it? B team B. Okay. Okay, opposite. So Rahel is with him, or or not? Two people. From the Amon Team's fishermen. Okay. <coughs> it's 
Oh my god. What? Damn, that's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think like he's going to get like fooled by something. And I don't know, let's see. Oh limited. Okay, so he has handicapped. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, no. Leron's three. <coughs> different team yeah like um <laughs> yeah <laughs> And here he is. <laughs> Shinsu to fly. Oh my god. Well, that was um, abrupt. Wait, that was part of the plan? Okay, so he was the bait. My God. Oh no, so... Okay, oh Is this like also part of the plan? Um. Oh my god this guy I, th I think Kun kind of like uh, got that from his personality and he has like plans for the for uh, the situation as well. Like Kun is extremely, uh, what do you call it, in intelligent. So, <clears throat> as far as I've like observed him, so I doubt that, uh, I think like uh, he kind of like studied his personality and got that uh, he is a type of person who like has like quite a high amount of pride and if he is like uh, caught off guard or like uh, what do you call it uh, like if he is like his pride is like hurt he's going to <laughs> snap and taking all of those into consideration he must have had a new, more new like another plan for the situation i think like something like that is going to happen because he's not so, so like um, like his, his his intelligence is not so low. Okay, that was the end.
of Tower of God episode number seven. Okay, let's talk about this episode. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so uh, like we get a more like a clear type of uh, explanation here about Anak and her mother. That is like we also kind of get the uh, thing that Jahat is the king of the tower, and like he selects. Uh, I don't know if he selects or someone else selects, but uh, princesses are selected just as showpieces uh, for like f like uh, like what do you call it they're just used as showpieces for everyone to see and uh, they are like given powers and those weapons I think and uh, the thing here is like they say it is said that uh, as the rule said that uh, the person who is a princess sh like should not bear a child or should not engage in um, sexual intercourse so now here is the thing first of all if the person like is uh, has a child from the beginning before being uh, what do you call it selected like does that exempt her from the rule or like uh, like Anak's mom uh, I think I don't know uh, when she had Anak after being selected or before being selected but uh, whichever the uh, reason was she was like uh, a violator of the rule so i'm thinking like uh, in any form of child you should not have like uh, if you have a child or if you are married or something um, then then i think like the candidacy kind of gets invalid so the pers people who have child from the beginning they are unable to like they they don't get selected at all and so I think somehow Anak's mother kind of like bypassed that or um, kind of flew under the radar and got selected uh, even though she had a child and uh, like later on she was caught and that's why she was um, killed I think I don't know so I think something like that must have happened uh, I might be wrong like uh, there might, must, might be something more to the rule and I'm not understanding that or because of the low amount of information that has been told um, I'm unable to get it but uh, as far as I can understand this is what happened and uh, like uh, otherwise it it doesn't make sense because uh, like uh, when when Anak when, I mean when Anak's mom was like found out that she had a child Anak was like not a baby but she she was pretty like big uh, I think probably uh, two or three years old so like if she was uh, like she had her child after being selected then she that means like she kept it a secret for three years I don't think that happened so as far as I can understand I think like uh, she had a child before uh, and before being selected and she somehow got selected and afterwards people got to know that yeah she had a child and that's why she was uh, killed and every anything so yeah I think that is I might be wrong I, I don't know like I as far as I can understand something like that must have happened but anyways the uh, main point here is that you should not have a child and um, she was caught she was caught and that's the reason why she was killed and uh, just a sec and uh, I think that they said something like um, uh, if you have a child uh, after being a princess uh, then like your power kind of like passes on to that child I think that is what they don't want so they kind of uh, stop people from having child after uh, like uh, being selected so I don't know why they don't want that uh, but must be there must be some kind of reason for that but uh, as uh, Endorsi was saying that uh, you you've never experienced hardship uh, because you already had the power to Anna and uh, so that means like uh, she inherited her mom's power or got uh, got the power from her mom and uh, like because her mother was killed she was after that she was selected now now if this is like uh, like if that is what happened like um, her mother was found guilty 
and her mother's power uh, kind of like went into like a, like Anak inherited her mom's power and uh, after being after her ma mother was killed uh, she was selected to fill her mom's position if that is what happens that is pretty messed up like just imagine like uh, killing your mother because she violated a rule and after killing her your mother uh, providing you the position where your mother once stood because uh, just as a replacement of her like like that is like extremely messed up in a lot of ways and oh my god like <laughs> okay so um that was the thing with anak and uh, yeah like uh like yeah i kind of get it where she's coming from like um uh, like uh, at, uh like uh, sh her mom kind of like broke the rules that is also like not something that should be done but still uh, she was a child and after killing her mother like uh, play, my, my, i mean uh, after killing her mother like placing her uh, uh, making her the princess of jihad just because like uh, her mom's power was inherited by her that is kind of like messed up and i like i get it why she is so angry and she has some like this revenge thing going on in her head and uh, okay so that was the thing with uh Hanakan and orsi and um then we see the this guy like uh i, I don't remember his name that one horned guy yellow haired uh she he he sh seems to be like uh, uh, a bit of like have ha has a bit of like infinity complex and uh, like uh, he uh, must have uh, like some parts of his past was also shown and i think that is the reason why he uh, like kind of fusses about uh, like uh, people outperforming him like if he finds someone outperforming him he kind of feels like uh, yeah i'm not good enough or infinity complex kicks in and uh, <coughs> He kind of gets uh, frustrated and everything, and I, I don't think like uh, the the only the thing that the, I don't think that the fact fact that uh, Yoru can do things better than him, not that that fact kind of like uh, like makes him uh, what do you call it, uh, makes him kind of uh, what do you, nervous not nervous but uh, frustrated because he's unable to do that. That things adds to it, but. I think I also think that uh, Yoru being so friendly and being able to befriend others that also is getting into him like uh, he being the kind of a person who wears a mask all the time unable to show his true, true self to others um, like after seeing someone a newcomer like are performing him and at the same time making friends uh, so easily and people latching into him and uh, yeah that would get to you uh, so yeah I also kind of get it why he is like acting like that in that way <clears throat> and now here um, <laughs> in Dorsey and Anak now that, that's a funny thing um, Kuhn like Kuhn did <laughs> Kun here Kun did something like uh, he like uh, kind of like manipulated uh, Endosi and um, Anak into becoming their friends and uh, the funny thing here is like if they become friends to uh, like uh, I forgot the name, that group's name that guy uh, the guy with the samurai and uh, his team uh, if they become friends like uh, like I, I i believe i expected anak to be the like uh, anak to have signed the uh, note at the first place but as all like as you guys know like anak is a type of person who does not uh, what do you call it does not trust others so only uh, through the bribe of some chicken pie she <laughs> she was like uh, coerced into becoming their friends and now like uh, the funny thing is that uh, Indorsi and Anak are both like hate each other <laughs> and uh, Kun uh, made them uh, like friends 
to like like uh, made them like uh, convinced them to be friends with another person like so they're like mutual friends towards uh, among each other uh, two people who hate each other are like mutual friends <laughs> that's kind of funny okay um that's with um what's uh uh endorsy and uh, anak and then we see like uh, okay here is it it is like i thought that rahel was swiping food that was not it like uh, he swiped from a uh, food from uh, uh, yoru that, like that was something she did like uh, he took the chocolate bars and rak <laughs> He took the rock's portion of chocolate bars. <laughs> that that was like uh, he took. She took it like that. But uh, I thought that she was like uh, swiping apples as well. But no, uh, she was paying for them. And uh, that pocket acted. I also forgot this. And the pocket acted as a wallet. So like you won't be able to swipe things here. Um, they're like automatically protected. So she has to like uh, buy things like that. So yeah, that was my wrong. Uh, in the previous episode, I kind of said that she was swiping food. Uh, that was not it, actually, and that was my misunderstanding. And um, uh, after that, we see like uh, Endosi like t talking to Rahel, and uh, here's one thing that kind of like uh, what do you call it? Uh, one thing that kind of interested me, like Endosi said that uh, I hope whatever you're seeking at the top of the tower is worth more than him and like yeah that's what's happening like she I, like rahel is not s saying anything to yoru and she also kind of like uh never said anything to him uh, and suddenly like disappeared to climb the tower so that kind of makes it like uh her, her uh, objective more uh, uh like she put her objective higher than yoru so that kind of makes it the fact that yeah she kind of thought that uh, uh the objective at the top of the tower whatever she's seeking at the top of the tower is worth more than your so yeah that is the hard truth and uh, okay uh, after that we get that um, new uh, what do you what do you call it new test and two teams like there's uh, divided into two teams and uh, like here's the thing uh Kuhn is kind of like the leader of the of his team so like um the examiner like the examiner is, is like uh, a type of person who thinks uh, works and uh, like does something before thinking so he's like impulsive and has a big pride and all of these things so i think like yoru would be uh, not yoru uh Kuhn would be able to handle him easily and I think everything is like a part of his plan, all uh, all Keikaku Dori. So, <laughs> so I think um, uh, Kuhn, uh, after like uh, like Anak was like, uh, what do you call it? what happened here? Huh? Yeah, Anak was like uh, dragged um, like uh, uh, like after Anak uh, attacked um, the examiner and the examiner kind of like overpowering her, o overpowered her. I think all of these are part of the plan. And I think there is something more to the plan. Like Kuhn is not, uh, like Kuhn is not, has not been found out. He's still hidden, and he can like uh, manipulate and do things. Like uh, he can like uh, he's like he's quite brainy, and he can like just uh, like reverse the thing, uh, the situation in snap of his finger. Like he can um, control not control like he can like uh, his oh god I'm not finding the the words to express um, like he can um, like to through tactics and everything like through strategy and everything he can like turn the tables just like that so I think there's something more to him and uh, yeah I think like the game is still in his hands I, I just think like I might be wrong but Kuhn is like extremely uh, intelligent and has a thing for strategy and everything so I doubt I highly doubt that uh, the, uh, the examiner would be able to outperform him in in uh, in like uh, what do you call it in in the field of like brain uh, in the field of tactics and in field of strategy I, I doubt that uh, 
he might be strong he might be physically strong but i doubt that he's uh, mentally challenging enough for kum so yeah and that was it that was episode okay guys uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this was episode number 7 of tower of god uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below your opinions about uh, this episode anything you want to share and uh, i'll be back with a new tower of god episode next week uh, so yeah uh, this was quite an interesting little episode and uh, nothing much happened but we got a few things here and there uh, some information and everything some uh, plot building so yeah i'll be back with a new tower of god episode next week until then goodbye and have a nice day